Welcome to 10 Minute Tuesday. Welcome back if you are not new here. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kristana and this is my YouTube channel. Every Tuesday we go over different things. Today I get this question a lot. I get, how do I clean my paintbrushes? And I'm gonna walk you through everything that I use, the tedious process, but I'm telling you it's worth it. So I'm gonna show you how to get your paintbrushes to go from this, because I'm a bad student, okay? From this, to this and these are not brand new brushes you can tell by the handle <laughs> so this is a video of how i clean my paint brushes and this is how you can save them now these are dixie bell synthetic brushes but in general you can do this with most paint brushes these ones i don't have to be super careful with so just be you know as rough or as gentle with it as your brush that you use the company that you use but this is the overall process and hopefully I can save you guys some paintbrushes because these bad boys are way too expensive to be thrown away if you think they're ruined. Stay tuned. First, I'm gonna start off by saying, clearly I left my paintbrushes in the bags too long and so I need to get this paint out of my paintbrushes. This doesn't always happen, but if this happens, this is how I clean them. The first thing I do is I take all of my paintbrushes and I rinse out as much of the paint as I possibly can. There's going to be dried paint on them. There's going to be paint on the bristles. So take your paintbrushes and rinse them all out as good as you possibly can first. If you want to use this method to clean your paintbrushes after every single time you use them, you absolutely can. It's not going to hurt your paintbrushes. So this is an, an extreme case, clearly. These paintbrushes are in need of some serious cleaning. So of course, you can do this as well on your paintbrushes daily, you know, if you paint daily or whatever with each project. But you can see these brushes, that one is not even shaped the way it's supposed to. There is some dried paint on here. So again, make sure you get all the excess paint out first. And if you guys are doing this after every project, you're not gonna need to spend as much time with the lice brushes that I'm gonna show you or the lice combs, but it is just a really great way to keep your brushes nice and clean and like new. All right, so I'm filming in my bathroom because obviously that's where I clean my paint brushes. I have used this kind of cleaner that came from Amazon Deutsch. It's a German cleaner. This one I ordered from the States, so it came from amazon.com. I'm gonna have a link below for this one, but if you are not in the US, you can go to Google or go to Amazon and look up biodegradable paintbrush cleaner, okay? And that's what you want. It's just better for the environment, and I'm going to be rinsing this down the sink. I don't wanna be rinsing down harsh chemicals down the sink. I know that you can use paint thinner and turpentine and all this other stuff, but I wanna be all natural, especially because I'm gonna be using my hands to clean it and I'm gonna be putting it down my sink. All right, so this is called Bristle Magic. It's a paint cleaner, it's for oil and acrylic. And so this is gonna condition your brushes as well as clean them. This is biodegradable, non-toxic, non-flammable, no fumes. Um, and so it's 89% post-consumer product, but I have, it's kind of got a little bit of an oily consistency, so understand that after your brushes are cleaned and conditioned. It's not gonna affect your painting, but you will have, it's gonna look really nice, I'll show you. So some of those paint brushes, cause I'm a bad student, have some paint on them from a while. Like this one right here, I haven't cleaned this one in quite a while, clearly. There are different colors, so obviously I probably have been painting with this brush for different stuff. I shouldn't have. Don't tell anybody. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take my, br my bucket that I use for my white lightning, it's cleaned with water, and I'm gonna pour a little bit of this in here. Okay, you don't wanna dilute this down because it is kind of an oil, so obviously oil and water don't mix. And so I'm gonna pour this in here. I'm going to tip my brush, or I'm gonna tip my bucket like this, and I'm gonna dip the bristles of my brushes in it. I'm gonna show you here in a second. Now, if it wasn't super dirty, you could just use this as a cleaner right at the same time you were cleaning, but these ones are dirty, so I'm gonna show you how you can clean all that stuff out of your brushes if you think that there's dried paint on your brush or you know some of those where the shape of the brush wasn't what it should be. And so I'm gonna show you how to save your brushes. So watch. Okay, so I'm gonna take my brush cleaner and I'm gonna pour it into the bucket. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt it on its side so that way I can 
adjust it to where I'm only putting the bristles of the brushes in there. So you'll see me do that in a second. Now this brush cleaner is an oil, it's oily. So don't put water in here, a little bit goes a long way. So again, that's why I also do it like this so that I can just put the ends of the bristles in there. And I put as many brushes in there as I can. Right now I have like four or five brushes that need to be cleaned. So I adjust them. The, the deepest area I'll put with the bristles that have the paint going all the way up to where the ferrule is of the paintbrush. And that is the metal part that holds all the bristles in there. So I'm just going to adjust them and you can see me putting them in by really the dirtiest ones go at the bottom and then the ones that just have something at the tip go in the top. But we are gonna let this sit and we're gonna let these paintbrushes soak for about 30 to 40 minutes roughly. Now the first paintbrush that I show you, this one right here, this may need to go through the process a second time just because it didn't clean quite as much as I wanted it to, but it honestly looks amazing afterwards. So what I'm using right here is a, it's a lice comb or a flea comb, and this has kind of got bigger teeth on it. And so this allows me to get in, so you can see me kind of like moving my, the moving the comb so I can get in to that actual paintbrush and pull all this stuff out. I'm moving it around to the side and you can see it gets a little bit easier because what I'm doing here is I'm breaking up any of the dried or clumped in paint that is in this paintbrush. So this is what I do first before anything and then I rinse it off and then I go to a different lice comb which is a plastic one. So it has two different sides. One is the, the little teeth are closer together than the other side. So I start with the one where the teeth are a little bit further apart and I just do the same thing and I take my time and I go over and I'm pushing it all out. You can still see that there's stuff coming out of it. This is also going to catch the paint that's stuck on the bristles and kind of pull it out of there. And so then the paint will come off the bristles. And then what I do is I rinse it after this and I flip that comb and I go with the one that has the teeth that are way closer together and I repeat the process. So at the very end, I will rinse everything out. And this paintbrush is usable, obviously, but I didn't get all the paint off the bristles. I could do this one more time and get it all the way off, but I'm also gonna show you a sped up version of the other brushes and how they get super clean. So it depends. If your brush is super dirty or that paint's been on there for a while, you may have to repeat this process twice. But honestly, I could use this paintbrush and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. So it is a tedious process if you have a bunch of paintbrushes, but if you do this after every single time that you paint, then it will prevent you from having all that stuff stuck in your paintbrush. But you can see right here, it looks really nice and clean and it is conditioned and it goes back to the shape it was. So right here, I'm gonna kind of do a sped up version, do the same exact thing and show you the last three brushes that were soaking.
Okay, I hope that was helpful. I hope that saved you guys some money and some brushes and you're not throwing your brushes away. I'm sorry if you already threw some brushes away. Now you know. So if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell for all the latest videos. Everything I use, the soap, the cleaner, the, the lice brushes, they're all in the description below. So click on the description so you can go right to those. Again, remember that Bristol Magic is a, a, Mer it's a US Amazon link, but I have ordered this biodegradable brush cleaner in Germany. So go to your local Amazon or your local art store or something and look up for a biodegradable brush cleaner, especially if you're gonna be doing it in your sink, that way you don't have to worry about the chemicals and all the good stuff and you're using your hands. So again, thank you guys so much. I will see you next Tuesday and my furniture video, will, furniture video will be out on Thursday. I'll see you guys later, bye.